guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little project share. I'm working on a few more of these clutch little bags that I made. And I just pulled out some of my papers that I had in my stash and uh, started getting busy. So this first one is a, I think it's an old Blue Fern Studios paper. It is called Tranquility, I believe. But I pulled out some papers and I just decided to do several different styles or colors and just kind of change things up a little bit. So I wanted to show you what I'm working on. Uh, this is a design team project for Crafty Me Shop. I pulled out some laces and fabrics and stuff and appliques and maybe we can decorate one. This, uh, so this is the first one I created and it has a lot of um, blues and neutral colors, a little bit of this like ferns and flowers and things. And then, um, so I decided to change it up a little bit. The last one I didn't put a pocket on the front. I thought I'd give it a try and I'm gonna have the lace, you know, hanging over the top anyway. So I did that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this open or not, but either way, I us I did glue down the sides just to kind of keep this sturdy. And then of course you have this part in here where you can put goodies. So it's a little clutch. And if you didn't see my last video, my last design team project video I made it with a large paper bag from the grocery store so I, thought I would reuse those so that's the first one and then this one is made from Stamperia you're not really gonna see the top because I'm gonna be covering it but um, this one has a pocket on the back and a pocket in the front here. And then you have the pocket in here, which has like a little divider in there. I haven't closed this part yet. You could tuck a little something in there if you needed to, a little secret place. And then of course you have the um, inside of the bag. Okay, so I just, um, I sewed the papers before I glued them on. And then this is probably my favorite. It's a different bag. A couple of these, oh, I think a couple of these might be different bags. No, maybe not, I'm not sure. I had a few different bags in my pocket, in my uh, collection as well. But I had this one from, um, we brought food home or something and it was a paper bag as well but it wasn't as big and it had handles but the bottom was really big you know how the bottom of the bag opens up the bottom of the bag was really big and then doesn't have the extra fold it just has that one so you have I just didn't want to cover this it's so gorgeous but you have this which I haven't opened yet and then you might have a little bit of a small little pocket in there that you could s stick something in. And then of course you have this area in there. And then on the back, I did a big pocket. So these papers are from Jane's Memoirs. Uh, these are the Blue Fern Studios. So it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I think this is probably my favorite paper line by them. And then the last one is also um, from the same paper line. You can see the difference in the size, but I'm gonna have these available soon in my Etsy shop. I just have to finish some uh, another project real quick. Uh, let's see, okay, so this one is also Jane's Memoirs, but I used like a different color line. I used the blues and the pinks. Is this gorgeous or what? 
This also has a lot of purpley in it too, which is super pretty. So this one, I just did a pocket on the back here. And then this one is, it doesn't go as much. I, I wasn't, I didn't glue this on yet, but I mean, I could use either side, but you're really not gonna see this paper anyway after I cover it with all the laces and appliques, so it didn't really matter what color, honestly, this was. All right, so that's what I am working on. So I think I'll go ahead and work on this one here because I have a bunch of neutral colors, which is what I was kind of going for. I have, let's see, I have this beautiful lace that Esme had in the design team package, and I thought I might put that there. I'm not sure yet, but let's just play around with this. I'm gonna use this to keep this closed. All right. So we'll go here, let's see. Something like this. I like this too. I found this in my Esme stash and, or Crafty Me Shop. Esme is the owner of Crafty Me Shop and she sells in her Facebook group. So if you're interested in finding uh, some beautiful appliques and laces, you can check out her um, Facebook group. And that's where she sells. Okay, so let's see. This one was like tea dyed or coffee dyed. Maybe I'll put this one under here. Isn't this fun though? I just love playing with these. It's so fun. I think I might cut this up a little bit. It's kind of big. Move it down a little bit, but let's just play around. Let me see. Oh, this is pretty. It's so pretty, but it doesn't really go with that. It's kind of got a pinky tinge, and this has more of a greener tinge, so not feeling that. I do have this, which might even go better than this, to add something like this on here. And then I also found these that were in my stash that would be pretty as well. Love to have something like that. Or even this. beads and then I was looking at this one that I had this one is really big so I don't know if I need all of that part up there but I really liked this maybe this can go under there somehow like I need to make a flower like I did the other one I made the flower with the um, chiffon but I don't have hmm. let's see if I have no I only had the green chiffon which doesn't really go with this one all right let's go ahead and put that down Okay, so I just tacked that one down and I'm gonna go ahead and put this down just a little bit. if I like it like that before I glue it down completely. Let's see. Or 
our neighbors across the way are getting their roof on uh, chain or you know what I mean they're getting a new roof so I can hear the uh, the guys out there I guess they're having fun <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that they're like yelling and having fun over there Woohoo! Doing all kinds of funny stuff over there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do something like this. Let's put that on there. I didn't. Uh, I didn't sew that, but that's okay. I'm just gonna tack this down for temporarily. Let's see what I want to do with this. This one. Thinking I might cut this. Where's my scissors? Okay. There we go, like that. Just a little. Okay. Yep, that'll go like that. And I really wanted to add this. So pretty. I think I'm gonna have to glue some of this in the back. I think. So I'm gonna cut this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like really look at that just to make sure that I don't ruin the beading. And then I really want to add another trim. Let me see that. I think I want to cut this up and spread it around. That would be pretty have some of those leaves and maybe oh, this is so gorgeous right here see I could cut that out yeah I think I could cut that out with the leaves then I'd have this little piece here I'd have all of that And then I'd have all of this left over here. Okay, my hubby came in, so I had to try to figure out where I'm at. All right. So this is going to go like that. And then I was going to cut this up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that up. I don't think you guys want to see me cut it, do you? Probably will be boring. I'm going to cut this up and then I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, had to wait till the next day. It was getting kind of dark. And I'm glad I did because I realized that I had this on backwards. <laughs> so there's a little piece that stuck on there. Anyway, so I had to turn that around and don't worry we're going to cover that up that's stuff kind of stuff happens so i'm going to put that there yet and i did cut the big applique and i got all of this 
I cut this piece out, I love those leaves, and then I cut the flower out. So that looks really cute. So I'm gonna use those pieces. And then I cut this one. This one was really tough to cut because of the pearls. So th this one's gonna be really tough to cut, you guys. So even if you glue the back, you're gonna still have to glue some of the front, especially at the ends, like where you glue it. And what I find the best to use is the art glitter disregard my bottle there but um so I take the tip and I go under the loose beads and I squeeze and then I press it down and then I just let it dry otherwise you're going to lose some of the pearls and you don't want to do that so super tricky but I thought the benefit was going to be wonderful as it peeks out through there like that isn't that gorgeous? And then I want to have this up here. Might have to bring that down a little bit. And then this will cover my little blooper there. And it looks so pretty. Now I want something up there. So maybe one of these that is may included in my design team package. Now this applique was included as well. So showing you how they, these large appliques can be used multiple times. Now, of course, you know, the main piece is going to be used on one project and then you have these extras that you can include, you know, on here or you can use it for, save it for another project. So we'll just see what looks the best as we go. And I was thinking about adding this up here. Oops. I'm still in my bedroom, guys. We've got the kitchen torn apart because they're going to be um, painting the cabinets and replacing the countertops. So I'm still, I still have my office slash craft table here in my bedroom. So I have to rely on natural light. So last night was just getting a little too difficult to see these little appliques and stuff so let's see how this looks maybe under there see this is why I tack it on like that because what if I didn't what if I wanted to put that under there like that see I didn't know it till now is that I want to put that under there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I know I'm gonna cover some of the stitching but it's okay no, it happens. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this tacky glue on here. Pull this down. Make sure I have this going the right way. <laughs> okay. I like that little scalloped edge at the top. I just thought that looked really cute. Kind of finishes off the top. Let me go ahead and cut that. wanted to get this finished up at least this one with you today because or this morning because I have practice today for service tomorrow normally we have practice on Thursday nights but because the I think the um, sanctuary was being used for something else so Anyway, my mom's playing keys this weekend, so that's cool. I get to play with her. I think she's playing keys or is she playing piano? One of the two. And I'll be singing some harmonies. So that'll be fun. I'll be able to see my mama. I haven't seen her in a little while. She had uh, gone out of, 
I think she went to the beach for a few days, so I haven't seen her in over a week or two, actually, I think. So, all right. See how nice that looks? I'm really digging this. And where's my other piece? This one. This one go there. It's looking mighty fine. And then I feel like I need, hmm, or want, not need, want something there. Let me close this up. And then I like this one. I haven't used this one yet. Oh, that looks nice. Let's see. That's definitely a possibility. I wonder if I need to glue this or not. Let's see. I think it's connected, so it should be good. Okay. So that would be pretty there. Let's see, I have another one of these. All right, let's cut this here. Pretty trim. So when they were taking out some of the drywall, they're going to replace the backsplash as well. And when they were taking that out, they found water damage under one of the windows. So they're trying to find out where the leak is and I hope they can find out so that we don't have a problem in the future. All right, that looks nice. All right, let's go ahead and put this down here. A hot glue for this. Okay. And then maybe I go down a little bit farther. Let's see, depending on where this goes. I want it to just cover a little bit. I think that my husband's trying to call me. So, one second, please. So, what do you think about that, guys? I think that looks really pretty and I'm going to go ahead and go for that. So I'm going to put this one down and I think I'm going to use, I don't have my Fabri-Tac down here. So I do like the tacky glue though, it really works well. I'm fine with that. I'm just going to put this here for now and then there. It's like a little transition piece. That looks nice. Gorgeous. Loving this so much. These beaded leaves with the um, gorgeous shiny sequins looks so pretty. I got glue on my fingers. Okay. So let's get this one on. I'm just going to tack it on and then I go back afterwards and fill in the gaps. Because if I, f I feel like if I need to ever take it apart for whatever reason, then I can without too much drama. I'm going to put this one on first up here so that I can slide this one up underneath. This one I think I'm going to use the hot glue.
Oh my goodness. That is just stunning. Okay, so that's going there. I'm going to glue this edge here just a little bit. Those leaves are just woo, killing me. So pretty. And I love this because it's got a little bit of like kind of an embroidery look, sort of, kind of. The little gold edging and then the little seed bead. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. down with some hot glue. So that will be like how the, um, the top looks. I'll make sure it's going to stay there. Eventually I'm going to glue all that. So what do you think guys? It looks super cute. And when you open it, you'll have this and, oops, I got glue strings. Fill this up with ephemera, fill that up, something in there, and then of course something in there. Could add another floral here or something. I'll play around with it a little bit and see what I can come up with. I didn't want two and two, so might have to do something else but we'll see okay so that is the start to this little clutch i'm super excited and of course we have the rest of the ones that i showed you yesterday to work on so let me know if you want to see how i decorate those and i can come back and do another video for you guys let me know what you like Okay guys, so thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my little craft with me for Crafty Me Shop. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.